Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. It's been impossible for me to move on. Have you been able to move on from this connection with this person? You guys watching the reading today? Probably not. And your person can't move on from this either. For some of you, I do feel like your person thought that if they just didn't talk to you, if they just didn't respond, if they just sort of like tried, tried to push thoughts of you from their mind, that the intensity of this connection would somehow dissipate, that it wouldn't be as powerful, but it wouldn't be as strong. But no, that hasn't happened for your person. They still feel the intensity of this connection like it was yesterday. They can't stop thinking about you. Their mind is full of thoughts and memories of you, replaying your conversations, reliving your memories. And their heart as well is still full of this love for you that for many of you, they never expressed. They have a heart full of love that they need to share with you that they never told you how they feel. Your person can't move on just like you can't move on because it is impossible. The universe is trying to bring the two of you together. You are magnetizing each other back into your lives because you have a destiny to fulfill with each other. What else does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? I was afraid to let you in completely. See, that heart is full of love, but they didn't express it. They didn't share it. And they were fearful of letting you in completely. For many of you, this person has been hurt in the past. And so they try to protect their heart by building this wall around it and not really revealing much about what's going on within them, but also not telling you with true transparency everything that's happened in their life and why they act and behave the way that they do or the way that they did, your person is releasing this fear of letting you in completely because they're getting to the place where they want to share everything with you. They want to tell you everything, especially because they can't move on. They know the two of you have something special and significant, and there's a reason why you are in each other's lives. And although you're not together right now, that reason that it is still coming of why you're in each other's lives. Yes, you've both been through this growth during this time of separation, but there is more to come with the two of you in union with each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What else does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? You were the last person I should have hurt. Well, yes, you were the last person that they should have hurt. Your person does feel a lot of guilt, regret, remorse for that. Kind of kicking themselves in the butt for saying harsh, mean, cruel words to you that broke your heart, that robbed you of joy, that for some of you even crushed your soul. They know that their actions and behaviors were low vibration energies, and they should not have hurt you. But they're taking responsibility for that here by saying, you were the last person I should have hurt because they get it. They know the two of you have something special, something magical, something spiritual, and something emotional, and you belong together. This is why you're going to get an apology from this person because they don't want to hurt you again. And they want to show you through their words and their actions, that they are willing to do what it takes to rebuild your trust and your faith in them. See what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? I'm working my way back to you. They are, they want to come back. They want a fresh start. They want a new beginning. 
Only this time, they will do it right. They will let you in. They will share everything with you. They will be vulnerable. They will be emotionally transparent and intimate. They will explain all of this stuff to you about why they did what they did, how they miss you, how they long for you, how they can't live without you. They may be taking baby steps back to you, but they will start taking bigger steps as the intensity builds in this connection between you and this person. And some of you may be feeling it now. Those of you in separation, no contact. You can feel what's going on with your person. You feel this energy building within you because we read that in the comments, but also in the chat. And if you haven't participated in one of our premieres, we have premieres on this channel every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. On Saturday and Sunday, it's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And on our other channel, Crystal Vision 1111, we have daily premieres at, 7, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Join us on the premieres, guys. It's a lot of fun because we talk about a lot of different things. And there's so much love and support in the community that people that are going through something similar as you are. And there's a lot of wisdom out there with all the people that participate in the premieres. Anyway, your person is working their way back to you because they know that it's time to start building this connection again. And the intensity is building. The energy is building. And a lot of you are feeling this anticipation that something is about to shift and change in your life in regard to this person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Things were going so great, but then I screwed up. Well, yeah, your person did screw up. They're acknowledging that. That's why they're saying here, you were the last person I should have hurt. And perhaps for many of you, your person thought that it was going too great, that it was too wonderful, that it was too magical, that it was too intense. And so, boom, they had to sabotage it because they were waiting for some shoe to drop that was never going to drop, but yet they dropped a big boot on this whole connection between the two of you. But they're acknowledging here that they screwed up, that they made mistakes, that they created problems. They're assuming accountability and responsibility again here for creating the problems in this relationship with you. They know that they made a mess. They know that they should have acted differently. They know that they shouldn't have said those hurtful words to you. And they certainly know that they should not have taken you for granted, nor this gift of this beautiful connection that the two of you share with each other, because that was a gift from the universe. They know they screwed up but they are taking ownership of that. And this is the very thing that will cause them to start reaching out to you to rebuild this connection. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I accept that my actions were what caused issues between us. Ding, ding, ding. Well, yes, we have a theme going on here, guys. Your person is definitely aware of what they have done here. They may not have seen it in that moment because I don't feel that your person sat there every day and said to themselves, okay, I'm going to see how I can screw up this relationship today by manipulating everything. I really feel it's more so a, a knee-jerk reaction to their fear. Their fear caused them to act and behave the way they did. Not making excuses for them, though, with those statements. But they are accepting that their actions caused the problems. They know that it was stuff that they did, and they understand because they have been looking within themselves that they have things that have caused them to act and react this way, to be in this space of fear. And they are letting that stuff go. So it no longer blocks this connection so that it no longer stops them from letting you in completely. So it allows them to be completely honest, open, and vulnerable with you in this relationship as they work their way back to you to have this new beginning with you. 
What else does the universe want us to know, please? What do we need to know about this person and this connection? What does the universe want to reveal? Can you feel me yearning for you? Your person is definitely yearning for you. They miss you with a longing of a thousand lifetimes, and they don't like how it feels not having you in their life. So they are spending a lot of time thinking about you, obsessing, dwelling, reliving your memories, replaying your conversations, and you will feel that from your person because you still have an empathy and telepathy with this person. Just because they've pressed the pause button on the DVR of your relationship, it doesn't mean the energy is not still flowing in 5D. It still very much is. And if they are sitting there thinking about you a lot, feeling very lonely, feeling depressed and really missing you, there is a really good chance that you will pick that up from your person. Because if you're feeling this longing coming at you out of nowhere and you are completely focused on something else, it is your person longing for you, yearning for you, missing you feeling so much regret and remorse for the things that they did that caused problems and issues between you, that hurt you for how they screwed up. We'll use some tarot cards now and see what more we can get. What else do we need to know about this person and this connection? What does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know, please? The King of Coins. The King of Coins, the King of Pentacles. This is someone who wants a long-term partnership. And they think about that, and then they make it happen. The thing is, with the King of Coins, though, they think about it a little bit obsessively. Um, they kind of analyze things from a lot of different angles. The King of Coins wants a partner who is loving, caring, supportive, giving, nurturing. You. They see you as the ideal partner for them. And while they may be slow to take action, when they do, they will take action because they're a king. Kings do take action. When they're ready to do that, they will come for you and they will be solid and they will be sincere and there will be a stability, an emotional stability and a maturity within this person. And they will see you as the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with. That is very much the energy of the King of Coins. Now, the King of Coins also is someone who can be a bit of a workaholic at times. And at the moment, they may be focused on their work, their job, their financial security and stability as well. Or perhaps this could be you at the moment as well. You guys watching the reading, very focused on your work, your finances, and your financial security and stability. The King of Coins is an earth sign. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. If you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, this can be a place of validation that there is a message for you in this reading, but you do not have to be an earth sign for this reading to work for you. Let's see what else we need to know. The bottom line here is with this king of coins being here, your person sees longevity with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? The five of wands. The five of wands is a card that tells us your person is really upset with themselves. They are feeling a lot of their own inner conflict for what they've done, for how they've acted, for how they created the problems, for screwing everything up, for hurting you, for not letting you in. All of the things that your person has done, they have a lot of regret for that. Now, this five of wands tells us as well that they're kind of pissed off at themselves too. They have a lot of inner turmoil about what they've done. And it, it's filling them with a little bit of anxiety and frustration, especially because they're yearning for you as well. So this is kind of like a lot of energy coming out of them. And it could be coming at you. They're mad at themselves. They're disappointed. They're disgusted with how they treated you. 
with how they hurt you. But as well, this Five of Wands is a lot of energy that they will put to good use because it is the very thing that will propel them forward and get to this place where they will ask you if you will forgive them and give them an opportunity for a new beginning with you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to tell us? Well, the Three of Swords, no surprises there. Your person is feeling a lot of sorrow and sadness, and they are feeling this separation from you. I screwed up. I'm yearning for you. Definitely the energy of this Three of Swords. This person holding this sword here is just crying feeling like so disappointed in themselves knowing that they should have done things differently they should have done things better they should not have treated you the way they did because if they hadn't they wouldn't be in this space of having to live through their own heartache and heartbreak right this is very much telling us that your person feels a lot of sadness and sorrow at the moment they're mad at themselves as well because they brought it upon themselves by acting out, saying those mean, hurtful words that they said to you, which again, all comes from the place of their fear. So they know that they created these problems themselves because they hadn't released their fears. They hadn't addressed their stuff. They hadn't released their pride and ego. Whatever it is for your person, they are doing that stuff now to heal it once and for all. So this connection has the stability that comes with this king of coins. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is super fantastic. The Ace of Wands is a very powerful card because it tells us your person wants a new beginning with you. They want a fresh start. There's a lot of passion here in this connection with your person and that is validated with this Ace of Wands. But the Ace of Wands is also a card of initiation. It is the initiation of this fire energy. This tells us your person will do what they need to do. This is a card of action. And this king takes action. Your person is going to initiate communication with you to start rebuilding this relationship. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal for this reading today, please? The King of Cups. Love the King of Cups energy. It is always so very beautiful and powerful, especially with it being here with this King of Coins. The King of Cups is the divine masculine ruler of the emotional realm. But I love this artist's rendition of it because it has these two cups here, which reminds us of the Two of Cups, which is a union of hearts. The King of Cups is someone who is emotionally mature. They will tell you how they feel and they will tell you all the time and there will be a sincerity about it, an honesty, an authenticity, a truth about it. The King of Cups is someone who will do nice romantic things for you all the time. Sweet romantic gestures, planning great weekend getaways, going on beautiful dates that both of you enjoy, being overtly romantic. What I like about this reading is this is someone who will tell you how they feel. And this king of coins is someone who will back that up with their actions. So you don't have any doubt. No more mixed signals. Everything makes sense to you. No more reading between the lines because you will know directly from this person how they feel about you because they'll tell you and they will show you. The King of Cups is a water sign. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, again, a place of validation for you. You do not have to be a water sign for the reading to resonate, but there's probably some water in both of your charts somewhere. 
Now, the point of this King of Coins and this King of Cups is your person's taking on the energy of these two cards, of these two energies here, regardless of what their signs are. So they're going to be stable. They're going to be emotionally mature. They will be vulnerable. They will be expressive of their feelings. They will be kind. They will be compassionate. They will do wonderful romantic things for you. They'll be affectionate. They'll be understanding. And they will give to you so much more than they have given in the past that it will really shock and surprise you how much this person loves and gives to you. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? What do we need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to know about this person and this connection, please? Consistency. How beautiful is that? Your person is going to be a lot more consistent with you than they have ever been. And you will see that from the moment they start rebuilding this connection. This is such a beautiful card. I'm trying to find the name of this deck because I just pulled it out. Ah, Sacred Earth Oracle. This is the Sacred Earth Oracle. And the artwork on these cards is done by Helena Nelson Reed. We have this beautiful sun here that tells us there's reason to be optimistic about this connection with your person. That there is still hope for things to happen, to change, to shift to turn around and get to this place where things are just so much better because your person is changing. You will see a consistency in their behavior. They will be loving. They will be caring. They, it will be about equal give and take. Your person will show you through their words and actions the depth of their love for you so you don't doubt it ever again because this person wants to build this relationship with you. Because they see you as the ideal partner for them. And they do envision a future with you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What else do we need to know about this person and this connection? What do we need to know for this love reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Oh my goodness, come on. Be spontaneous. I love this so much. Look how this one little fairy is reaching out to the other. And they are just about to go off on a little adventure together. This also tells us that your person loves the fact that you are spontaneous and that you're open to do things without much notice, that you are up for new adventures and having new experiences. But as well, your person is going to be more spontaneous with you as the two of you rebuild this connection. And as your person rebuilds this relationship with you, there will be many more adventures, many more experiences that the two of you will have with each other that allow you to spend quality time together, that allow you to do things that, that support better communication that support the deepening of this bond between the two of you, that support this romantic, um, physical and emotional intimacy between the two of you. Your person is going to want to have new experiences with you, do new things, go to new places, take trips to places neither one of you have ever been because your person is wanting to really be able to experience the fullness of this love and of this connection with you in a new and unique way. This is about them coming up with a fresh approach, one that will show you that they care, that they love you, that they will show up for you, and that they will be real with you. Let's see what else the collective needs to know for this love reading today, please. What does we need to know about this person? What does the universe want to reveal, please? The union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. 
a union of hearts, a union of souls. This is about divine masculine and divine feminine coming into union. And what a beautiful representation this. I don't know if you can see that, but the divine feminine, the bottom of her tree is beautiful flowers. And for the masculine, it's leaves. The union of hearts. It is also the union of souls that exist here between you and this person. But what's more important is I wanted to bring this up. It says a love connection that defies explanation. Can you explain this connection with your person? Do your friends, do your family understand it? They may not because if they have not been through anything like this themselves, if they haven't experienced a connection like you feel to this person and your person feels to you, it won't make sense to them. So many of you may be in situations where your friends and your family are well-meaning and they're saying, you know what, you just need to move on, get on with your life. Why don't you go out with somebody else and blah, blah, and on and on it goes. But that's because they don't understand this kind of connection. They have no frame of reference. It's something that's foreign to them. So when your friends and family, if your friends and family are coming at you with that kind of stuff, just tell them that you appreciate it. Tell them you love them, send them love, give them a hug, but you still need to listen to your own heart because this connection with this person is a love connection that has no explanation. You can't really explain it. It's just something that you know within you. It's something that you feel inside yourself. And unless someone has been through it themselves, they're not going to be able to understand it. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? What do we need to know? What else does the collective want to reveal about this person and this connection, please? Sadness. Yes, your person, this three of swords, your person is going through a lot of sadness right now because they miss you. They long for you. They are yearning for you. They're lonely for you. And you're probably feeling this sadness as well, your own, because you miss this person and you want to talk to them, but also the sadness from your person because you are picking up their sadness as well. So it can be kind of like a double whammy for you guys because of the empathy that exists here between you. But this sadness is doing what it needs to do for your person. It's causing them to understand that they have to take responsibility, that they have to take action here and do something to start reaching out to you to rebuild this connection. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? Growth. Yes, they have been through growth and they are growing, changing and evolving. They are transforming. They will return with more of the energy of this king of cups and this king of coins. Someone who is loving, giving, caring, expressive of their love. Someone who can show you through both their words and their actions the depth of their love for you. Someone who has emotional maturity and stability around them. Someone who wants a stable long-term partnership. Long-term being the key word there. Someone who will be vulnerable, expressive, telling you how they feel. No longer being afraid to let you in completely. That is how this person is going to return. Transformed, changed all grown up. They will have emotional maturity and stability around them. The time for these games and foolish behaviors will be a thing of the past because your person is changing. That is why you are going through this time of separation so they can change. Your person has been very upset with themselves. They're feeling a lot of guilt, regret, and remorse for how they handled things with you. They are mad at themselves. They're very disappointed and even disgusted with themselves. 
but with this three of swords, they are really feeling a heavy weight of sorrow and sadness right now. They are feeling that full on, but they are the only one who can do anything about it. They know that they have to make the first move, and this ace of wands this card of new beginning does tell us that this person will make that move. Your person wants to reconcile with you and they want a new beginning. They want to reach out their hand to you so that you will catch it and they can pull them to you because they miss so much about you. They miss spending time with you. They know that they created so many problems that they screwed up. They're longing for you. They are yearning for you, and they acknowledge here that you are the last person on earth that they should have hurt. Your person wants to show you that they have grown up, that they've changed, that they have evolved, that they have become a more powerful, more loving, more confident person who will be a better partner for you who can tell you how they feel, who will back that up with their actions so that there's no confusion in your mind whatsoever. You will know directly from the horse's mouth because they will tell you and they will show you. You will feel loved by this person. The king of coins is a very powerful, stable, loving energy. And the king of cups is a very loving, compassionate energy. The blending of Beautiful energies here from these two kings is how this person is going to show back up in your life. And this will surprise you, especially if they haven't told you before how they feel about you, how they miss you, how they're yearning for you and longing for you and can't stand being apart from you any longer. Because your person ultimately wants this union of hearts with you because they see you as the ideal partner for them. And they will be consistent. No more hot and cold. It will be full on from this person moving forward if you give them this opportunity for this new beginning. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching. Have a great day, everyone.